pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Charlie Cofield, I live at 157 Main Street. Um, it's talking here about rent increases on the building. Um, it's been rumored around town that you plan to double the rent. More than double. Well, that's ridiculous. You might as well get rid of the road crew and buy snow shovels for every resident in this township, and they can shovel their own snow. We don't need a road crew. It's, that's stupid. Okay. It is. I mean, raise how if, if your bank came to you and said your mortgage is double and if you don't pay it, you gotta get out. It sounds like a cop out to me to get the building empty to proceed with Mr. Smith's plan to get rid of the building. That's what it sounds like. They're getting a sweetheart deal right now. Well we're just trying to get them up to Yeah. You you uh, so, it, it, it's okay so you, to increase a little bit, but to double well, somebody's rent we're not, is ridiculous. We're not doing it all at once. We're staging it over years. Yeah, we're trying to work okay. with them and stage it over years. But I want to make sure that you're on board as a taxpayer with I'm subsidizing these taxpayer. businesses. There's a lot of things going on in this township that I'm not on board with. Well, no, I, I, I just want to clarify your statement. You're okay with subsidizing these businesses because they can't get rent like they're getting here or anywhere else. You're not going to get businesses out here. What, what do you have to offer in this community? This community is falling apart. You You're people keep the us subject. in litigation. I'm asking you what your position is. My position is to increase the rent, but not to increase it dramatically. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he mentioned the road crew. I understand that there's a, a lot of... Uh, Differences between the township and the road crew that they filed uh, uh, multiple grievances. Correct. Is that correct? Yeah. To my estimation, it's going to cost the township between twenty-four and about forty-four thousand dollars for these grievances, which means that you people either are the worst managers in the world, or there's a vendetta against the road crew. Amen. You know, you got a, you, you got a four-man road crew. And you can't sit down with them and settle the grievances without having to have an arbitrator come in that we've got to pay for, without having a solicitor come in that we've got to pay for. There's something seriously wrong. Amen. You know, you guys were put up there to manage the township. If you can't manage a four-man crew, what the hell are you doing up there? Next. Yeah. Kelly Grimes, Highland Avenue. Where do you guys still stand? I know at the last meeting you guys had talked about running out the maintenance building, and you guys couldn't publicize that because it was paid for by Act 13 money. But you guys were going to verbally talk to people. Where is your position on that? Because I still don't understand how you think you can rent that out. We, uh, I think we, at the, when we discussed that, the we was going to have them check. I don't know. We put feelers out and asked around. Yeah, but I mean on the fact that it was paid with Act 13 money. And the waterline extension, the grant money, Eddie. Um, Say again. The grant money that was to go for the waterline extension out Dry Ridge, you need to check because I'm pretty sure that was applied to the maintenance building. Grant, the grant money. The grant money the water, township received the, for the waterline extension out Dry Ridge. I'm pretty sure it was applied for the building, the maintenance building. Okay. To be constructed. Okay. Next. Oh, you ain't done. 
Well, I remember when the other supervisors were up there, some of you that are currently sitting up there now were sitting out here and you knew everything about the Act 14 money and how it was to be handled and what could and could not be done with it. So I'm kind of confused as to how you don't know that that can't be done. I, I never claimed to know anything about or all There seems to be no, no provision again. It doesn't matter. Was there any calls made to see if the grant money was used instead of for the waterline extension? Because that was discussed at the last meeting too, that it would be checked into. Did anybody check to see? That's one of the things we're investigating, yes. But it's just like everything. It's just like Act 13, because the rules are rather loose, believe it or not, you could buy a piece of equipment, sell it, and dump the money back in the general fund if needed. So what are you finding out on the waterline extension? that no one seems to know. Nathan Wojtek from the redevelopment at Washington County doesn't know? Hasn't returned her call. No. I find that hard to believe. So what are you planning on doing with the equipment that's supposed to be used for that? Building? All the equipment fits in the other building. No, it doesn't. What did what, you say? <laughs> it fits in. When we were down there for cleanup day, all but two tractors were in. There was only in that big building two tractors. That is the craziest thing I ever heard tell of in my life. It won't go in that building. We have waited for years and years to build a building to put our equipment in. We get a building built, now you want to rent the damn thing out. What's the matter with you? They want to paint the room no, no. Yeah. Honestly, the township is actually in dire straits monetarily wise and we could use the money to fix the roads. Yeah, you need to manage your money better before. You're, just, you're getting all screwed it. up with your liquid fuels money we and everything. No, we didn't get it. Yeah. No, we yeah. spent yeah. all that money on the the difference. Right, litigation. Each, is each litigation seems to be your track running. Okay, oh, one at a time. Wait till you're called on. You have the floor. Are you done? Bus had his hand up. I better shut up. I'm going to say too much because you guys need to get together and get this thing straightened out. Us, with all due respect, we respect your opinion, and you know more about the road department and the equipment, and and I think that you should speak, us. Maybe you could help this township board. I can help them a lot if they would ask me. Why can't they work together? Charlie, um, your solicitor is a He's a litigator. He's going to keep you in litigation because that's how he makes his money. Mm -hmm. As we have seen, calls. excuse me, Betty Shingle, Donegal Township, we have just reviewed the last how many years with the SWEAT team doing that. So that's the pot calling the kettle black. You're always going to need a solicitor. If the people that are bound in grievances were fought, I don't even know. How, what they're all talking about. Those are personal things that should not even need to be brought up in these meetings. And if they are, then what's the problem? If they were following their rules, there wouldn't be grievances. Oh my. <laughs> How many grievances were filed with the previous supervisor? Okay. I think, hang on. I, I sort of got cut first off. Of all, <laughs> first of all, I think we're far afield because this is public participation on agenda items. Oh, well, we tried to do that at the previous board. You guys all know we have to talk on everything. So we let you. Mm -hmm. At the end? Yeah. At the end, there's public well, participation did. on other stuff. I see. Okay. There's different regulations. Right. No, there's no different. It's no, right here in print, dog. Uh, ours was in print too, Eddie, and we always flex from it. Okay. Well, I haven't shut anything down. I said we're far afield. Oh, all right. So do you have stuff that's on me? Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. I'll wait. Okay. Anybody else? Moving on. Approve the minutes from the June 25th meeting. I make a motion to approve the minutes from the June 25th, 2018 meeting. That was a regular monthly meeting. Yes. Uh, I'll second that. How do you vote? Mike? Yes. Kathy? Yes. 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 Yeah. 
Approve the minutes from a special meeting held July 10th. And I'd like to have those separated. 16th. Okay, July 10th. I'll, I'll move it. I'll second it. How do you vote? Mike? Yes. Kathy? Yes. Vote yes. Doug? Yes. Eddie? Yep. Okay, approve the minutes from the 16th, July 16th. That was the 8 a.m. in the morning when we were. Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. What do we have in special meetings for? That was when uh, the road collapsed on uh, Old 40. It was? And uh, I think one of the meetings was, yeah. I thought that was the meeting that you, 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 you called the door and you hired somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it was caught. That was, that was because of the road closure. Yeah. And the road cut over there. Well, there was other things going on. Yeah. I didn't want to go directly. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't the road reopened on Sunday? Mm -hmm. You did a very good job. Yeah. So at the time, we didn't know it was going to be. That. We called this on Friday. Yeah. But that was, yeah, he never yeah. worked on it. All right. How do you vote? We don't have a motion. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I only have the, that we talked about the next July 16th. All right, July 16th. I'll make a motion. I don't yeah, I'll, I'll make the motion. Oh. Approve the minutes for the 16th. Sorry. Right. Okay. Second. Yeah, I'll second. What, what was the meeting for? That was after the road was closed, and we also hired Scott Dorsey that day. Yeah. Was a special meeting for that? This was, a, this was a position that we advertised for, and a part-time position. At 8 a.m. in the morning that day, it became a full-time position. I, I don't know how that works. I suppose it works like it works. Uh, the, we advertised the meeting because uh, it was an emergency meeting because the road It wasn't collapsed. an emergency meeting. It was a regular, it was a scheduled mixed special meeting. It was not an emergency meeting. Emergency meeting, you just, you really have to. I mean, I can understand an emergency meeting for the road yeah. It wasn't an emergency but meeting. But the it was an these special session. meetings in the middle of a month, to advertise. Not everybody buys that Washington paper every day to see if you're going to call a special meeting. Yeah. And just because you advertise it makes it legal. That's right, it does. I think it sucks. <coughs> How do you what was done there that you couldn't do tonight? At the time at the special meeting. Know. At the time we didn't know what was going on with the road. It was estimated to be closed for weeks. Yeah. So why did you hire a guy? Who would estimate that, that just, it just had weeks? Why wasn't it out on the sign out front? I knew Friday. Somebody what? dropped the ball. Okay. We got a motion and a second? Yes. How do you vote? Mike? Yes. 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 I abstain in making note of the minutes that I was not present because. I do work regular job at 8 a.m. in the morning. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Financial business. Approve the treasurer's report dated <laughs> June 26th to July 30th. Bank statements and all that stuff there. <laughs> Just, just for a point, from my understanding, I, I can't recall here. Um, <clears throat> what's it? What's in Act 13 for, the, for this month prior to the addition of the 400 and some thousand dollars? It's about we have around three quarters of a million dollars in Act 13. Mm -hmm. Would have been is that correct? Yeah, it would have been the beginning at 628. Would have been 231,849, right. and then. We received our deposit. Uh, what was it, 441,584? What's that bring the total down to? Um, 664. Well, before this payment, we have to, 6, 
673. Okay. 454. Not far off three-quarters of the band. We're not quite broke yet. I'm waiting on that. You don't have it either. I will make a motion to approve the treasurer's report. Second. Minus the um, clothing allowance check. You mean minus as in not no, I mean not or in addition to? No, just hold off until we have the executive session. Oh, okay. But, you know what I mean? Okay, you're, you're, you're going to exclude that from the list. Yeah, so I'll exclude that from the list. Okay. All right, we got a motion and a second. Second. How do you vote? Mike? Yes. Kathy? Yes. I vote yes. Doug? Yeah. Ed? Yep. I had a question. Uh, on the, um, I don't know if it now is when I can bring it up, on the, the monthly income report, since you guys were talking about the treasury report, I just had a question on the, um, accident policy for like the secretary, the road department, the police department. I know I'd asked a couple months ago, we just have one secretary and it's $118. And we have, what, two police officers? It's $122. And for three road guys, it's $200. And I just think it seems like it's, that figure doesn't seem right for the secretary's accident insurance. That the accident under us okay, accident. Um. We'll have to look into it and get back to you. That's what you said a couple months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got a motion and a second. Yeah. Hammy and Kathy. Yeah, no, that's right. Oh, we're done. Motion to pay the bills. Motion to pay the bills. Motion to pay the bills. I'll make a motion to pay the, pay the bills. Second. What, she, what are you looking at, Dan? I'm looking at the, she's looking at this. the monthly income report. It's the last page where it says monthly profit, profit and loss. And if you go down to the expenses, the where the township pays the accident insurance on the full time yeah. employees. So we have a secretary at $118 for one. We have two, two full time police officers is 122. And then three full time road workers is 200. It just seems like the secretary, it seems like that's an awful lot for, and not that against Sharon, I'm just asking because it doesn't seem like that figure is correct. Yeah. When we have three road guys and it's two hundred dollars and we have one secretary it's one hundred eighteen. Like yeah. Yeah. um Tim if you leave me your email I'll have Sharon email you the figures tomorrow exactly what's going on. I can you know have her send you that information and check on it. All right we got a motion and a second to motion to pay the bills right? Yeah. All right. How do you bet? Mike? Yes. Kathy? Yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, code enforcement. Yes, sir. For the month of June, uh, there were two letters sent out uh, for violations on Sixth Street, Donable, and they complied. So there was no further action taken. There were a couple previously opened uh, violations that were resolved. One in court, and one by them complying, and that was it. I have a question on code enforcement. Yes, sir. Um, you said Sixth Street. Yes, sir. Was well, that by complaint of a resident or a supervisor or by view of the officer? On view. Did you miss Eighth Street? No, sir. That was this month. Or yeah, yeah that was July. It's on there then. If not, on, not eight, on June. Eighth and Railroad. No, that's in July. That's what my report's only for the month. That, I only do my reports okay, for this month. Yeah. So it's on the current one. So the property you're talking about yes. is would be on this upcoming report. So there, it is an incident. There's action. Yeah. There okay. was there was like four or five in the area addition. Okay. Well, that one I just, I just yeah. How about any dilapidated houses that might be dangerous? 
Nothing I'm working on right now. Nobody's <laughs> called about it. Tollgate Road? Tollgate Road. The house still out there, Dwight? Tollgate? Which one? Well, it's fallen over. Oh. The well, the porch fell off, I noticed it yesterday. Yeah. You're talking about the one on the left going out Yes. Past, just past your place? Yes. All right, I'll take a look at it. Pretty hard to see for the trees. <laughs> yeah. I think Charlie wanted something. Code enforcement, this is nuisance ordinance? Uh, yeah, we, we've been doing it since they got rid of the, the um, code enforcement. Have officer. you looked around the village of West Alexander? <laughs> yeah, I have actually, and we've been taking them a little bit at a time because we've got our regular work to take care of. Well, it's kind of hard to enforce when some of our board members are part of the problem. Well, sir, that's <laughs> yeah. for you guys to discuss. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Engineer report. Fire department. In the month of June, uh, we answered uh, 22 calls, <clears throat> gave eight 14 times, received mutual aid five times. Uh, we had only had two overlapping calls in that month. Our uh, average time uh, from dispatch to on scene was 13 minutes 36 seconds, and that was. Inflated slightly in June because we made a couple long trips to East Finley on some fires. So that number, our our average uh, turnout time, which is dispatch till till we go in route, was two minutes and fifty seven seconds. So um, those twenty two incidents, we had two building fires, uh, one RV fire, uh, one off road heavy equipment fire, uh, three EMS calls. Uh, two crashes um, with injuries, five crashes without injuries, uh, four times we were dispatched and canceled, um, twice we arrived on scene to find no incident to dispatch address, uh, one controlled burning, and one unintentional uh, detector activation. Uh, in June we, did, we utilized uh, 574 and a half uh, man hours for the month of June. The only other thing I have is uh, this is the time of year that we would normally receive the don donation from the township for our regular budget. So I was going to respectfully request that you guys find the time to make that donation to the fire departments for their, for their budget. What, what do you guys have budgeted in for? you have a number? I, I had budgeted $20,000. <clears> do you have anything for fire? I do not. Okay. I have a question on the fire marshal thing. I just yeah. happened to be in the office one day, and I don't know how this went down. And I, uh, somebody called in about getting a permit to put a fire escape in. Do you know anything about that? No. Okay. We think perhaps it was the wrong dog. dog. <laughs> That's what I thought. Because we couldn't come up with any place around here that was big, high enough that you uh, could even. Because I told Jared to refer to you. I, I've not spoken to anybody. Okay. I'll check Super Saint. Because I just happened to be in the office and she got the call and I right. said. Well, obviously, you would, you don't have any permits I, for that type of thing anyway. Yeah. So. yeah, I was just curious if they had called you or. I, I, got a, I got a strange feeling it was the other dawn ago we get plenty of this. That, that, that happens sometimes at the station. They'll call about things and they'll give me an address. And I, just was curious not, they, I was just curious if they called you. And, yeah, I have not. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to, that uh, we contribute. Twenty-five thousand dollars initially to the West Alexander and Claysville Fire Departments. Come back and revisit it a little bit later in the summer as the project's winding down. It's really not anything like we gave in the past, but that's part of what Act 13 is can be used for is fire police protection. I don't think there's any better than you can buy and put money in in emergency services. I've had the ambulance at my house before, and I, what I appreciate it. Clarify your motion. Twenty-five thousand dollars each, each to Claysville and to West Alexander, uh, and we can revisit it in the summer when projects are wrapping up. See what we, how we're faring. We have a second. So we guys have in mind for the fire company. Let's talk about it. We don't have the money to give them anything. Is that, is that the gist of it? 
Personally, I'd like to get farther down the road and see what we have. Um, got it. Make it all once. Personally, yeah, sure. The taxpayers bought them a building last year. What's wrong with that? Nothing, but I mean, they're not a private entity. I mean, we uh, they, they serve us. Yeah. Okay. And we've had enough calls right down in front of your place because people can't see pulling out that intersection. And back to Charlie's commentary. And well, I think the police needs well, to One of them accidents have been well from well, anything. I'm under. telling you what, you pull down there and go try to go across that intersection, it's hard to see sometimes. That's not why that's not many accidents. And that's not a problem. Chief, how many accidents do you have at the intersection a year? All right. Can one, get two? I, I don't know. No, more than that. More than that? I, I would like to say that you guys understand that you as a board are required to yes. provide emergency yes. services. Yes. Yeah. And and that service doesn't come we're for not, free. We're, we, we're, we're not, not saying okay. no. We just want to get a handle on what it's going to cost us to do some of the roads and so forth, rather than saying if we don't have roads, there's no there's no point in having roads. You can't get there. There isn't. Well, there's more of a reason to have emergency services if you got to have roads. Yeah. I just the opposite. But but it, I, like I have budgeted money in my budget because this township budgeted money in their budget as part of my budget. Okay, so it's been budgeted, and, and there's there's a reason for that. So you know, so it doesn't it doesn't matter what happens in the township, we've still got this cost. We understand that if we could get Grimes Road open and a few things like that, then we can look at it. Then we can. That's, that's not. So what ha what happens if you spend your six hundred and forty something thousand dollars on Grimes Road? We're out of luck. Then we just We're out of luck. The, the fire department gets nothing for a whole year. Is, I mean, is that how that, that works? Every day in this township, more and more houses are sold to Tunnel Ridge. That doesn't affect our it operations. Does affect, what, it does affect the tax base across the board. It does not. If you want to go into next year and say we're not going to budget any money for a fire department donation, then therefore those fire departments won't budget that money and have to make whatever do with what they have. But the commitment was already made by Donald Township, and that money's been put into a budget on that commitment. What commitment? By the township. The it's in your budget. Budgets change. It's, That's why it's called a budget. It's not an expense. I, I understand. Yeah. I, I understand. Things change. change. Give us a couple Things more months good. to see what we can work out. Yeah. I will explain. We'll talk to you about it in a little bit, if you like. All right. Office of Water. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You got a motion on the floor. Do I have for lack of a second? Yeah, there's a second. Well, you still have to proceed with it. recording that. Okay, his motion dies for lack of a second. Heaven forbid, people, we have a major fire. Office of Water. Hey, that's not looking out for for the welfare. I got a question for Eric. If I could, well, you can ask Eric the question. That, no, I want the, in the, the break. No, I would like the whole room to hear the question. Well, Eric, that's not. You're, this isn't the proper time. What do you mean it's not the proper time? You're discussing it, and it's wrong. So let the people talk. Tell you what they think. That's the well, worst thing you can ever do. Ring? Refuse to give this money to the fire department. This Act 13 money doesn't hurt you guys. We're moving on. You will have an opportunity to speak. Yeah, Eric, don't leave. <coughs> office of water. <laughs> uh, nothing much going on in the office. The water, the gateway system worked because it notified for us what the problem was. He was able to see the problem on the phase two pump station and see what he needed to fix it instead of coming out on an emergency basis to save his money. So that part's working. Parks and Rec. Uh, since appointing the members of the Parks and Rec, we've been able to have two meetings. Um, in our first meeting, we concentrated on the fitness center and getting that up and running for the community. We discussed updating some equipment down there and removal of the old equipment. We tried to promote the best we could to the community to let the members know that there is a fitness center available to them. We created a Facebook page and we also set up at the Three Bridges Festival and handed out flyers to the community to pass out the word. 
In the month of July, we had 14 members, two of which were family memberships. Um, in our second meeting, we reviewed all of the promoting we did for the community to try to get the word out about the fitness center, and then we also began to discuss further activities that we'd like to plan for the community. We hope to set up some dates for those communities and get more finalized details in our third, third meeting, which will be August 10th. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Police Department. Yes, sir. Again, this is for the month of June. Uh, 782 man hours. Uh, 269 events with approximately 145 calls for service. We initiated 12 criminal investigations. Uh, property loss for the month of June was $4,450. Property recovered was $4,150. Officers conducted 32 traffic stops, investigated four traffic accidents, issued 23 cita traffic citations, eight non-traffic citations, and filed 14 criminal arrests. Uh, June officers patrolled approximately 4,442 miles and used approximately 321 gallons of fuel. Um, we covered code enforcement. The fines collected by the magistrate for the month of June are attached to the report, and that's it. Thank you. Yes, I'd like to make a request that, that based upon I received a anonymous letter. I'm not going to read it because it's anonymous, but the point they make and the photographs they supply, we need to remind the officers to keep the police car not in the township or, or protection areas. And the photographs of, of our car down at Cheddar's, the Highlands, um, that, that they provided. And uh, I had a call uh, one evening when our car was at a residence on Beeham Ridge Road in West Bentley Township. Yes, sir, it's about a mile out. It's one of my officers. Okay, I don't know. I'm just... Yeah, I just, call, just so you know, you brought it up. Yeah, well, I brought so it up. So, when the officers went home, he grabbed some lunch. Let's keep the... I, I so... Think it's always been... But, a, but the problem, the problem is, and we've discussed this before, yes. and it's always been okay in the past, as long as they don't do it all the time, and as long as they go get something, come right back, or they're I, not out of the township for an extended period of time. I thought we had, a, we had a discussion previously about having it out of the... Out of the we out did. of the township, but out of, out of the county and out of the state. No, we did. And the, and the, and and we the understanding the, between you and I sat yeah, at the table was, was as long as they're not going down there, hanging out, they're not eating down there. If they get down there, they pick something up and bring it back. I, I think that... With